massive, immersive, and highly technologized. Today's stadiums are more than just a grandstand around a pitch. They reshape the landscape of sports and amplify the fan experience. From a completely new stadium that has room for over 90,000 people to this insane stadium in Liverpool, here are the biggest stadiums currently under construction. Let's begin with number seven, the Intuit Dome, with a capacity of 18,000 people. The Los Angeles Clippers are a professional basketball team based in, you guessed it, Los Angeles, and they've been around since around 1970. However, they've never had an NBA arena of their own that they could call home. Currently, they're sharing one with the other LA teams, such as the NBA's Lakers or even the NHL's Kings. As a result, the entire court currently needs to be rearranged in between every match for different teams. To solve this problem, while also providing a home to the Clippers, a brand new stadium is being built. With a unique design, which is supposed to look like a basketball net during a score, it'll have numerous special features. The major one being the wall, a 51 row tall uninterrupted end zone. It's supposed to create a wall of supporting fans, providing the Clippers with a big home court advantage. The arena will also have a 360 degree video board, which will be used to provide fans with replays and statistics. Being located in Inglewood next to the Kia Forum, another arena mostly used for concerts these days, legal problems arose in 2019. Out of fear for negative effects on the arena's business, the owner tried to block the new stadium's construction by filing several lawsuits. This was eventually put aside when the Clippers owner Steve Ballmer decided to straight up buy the neighboring arena for a whopping 400 million US dollars. Finally, construction began in 2021 and has been making steady progress ever since. The outer skeleton has been already completed, missing only the facade, while the interior is still taking shape. The final completion date is currently set for 2024. At number 9, we have New Mestaya with a capacity of 50,000 people. This soccer stadium, located in Valencia, Spain, has an infamous reputation as the project has been stagnating for almost 15 years. It all began in 2006, when a plan was proposed to replace Valencia's old Mestalla Stadium in light of the club's recent success. With a proposed capacity of more than 70,000 people, a roof covering 100% of the seats, a leisure area, and a museum, it would be rated five stars by UEFA and even be eligible to host the World Cup. The construction started in 2007 with an estimated cost of $362 million and was scheduled to be completed two years later. However, this couldn't be further from what actually happened. A few months before the supposed completion date, with most of the work already completed, the project hit a brutal financial deadlock. The Spanish real estate crisis in 2008 made it impossible to profitably sell the old stadium. Numerous attempts were made to sign contracts with investors, but all of them ended unsuccessfully. Even the original plans for the stadium have been partially revised to reduce the remaining cost. The original complex facade was to be replaced with a much simpler design. The parking lot's capacity were to be reduced by more than 90%, and even the roof was to be significantly downsized. The proposed capacity has also been reduced multiple times, currently being planned to host a maximum of 50,000 people. But in the end, none of these efforts were successful, and the project has remained an empty construction site ever since. What's worse, the project has already missed an important deadline with the Valencian government, resulting in a loss of its proposed urban benefits. However, a new municipal government was elected in May of this year, planning to finally resolve this situation. With the recently successful bid for the 2030 World Cup by Spain among Portugal and Morocco, it will be interesting to see if the stadium will be selected as a host site and finished in time before the first match is played. Next up is number five, the Everton Stadium, with a capacity of 53,000 people. The Everton soccer team currently plays at Goodison Park. However, since it's been standing for more than 100 years, the maintenance costs are quite high, and there are even concerns that it may fail future inspections. This sparked the idea of building a completely new and modern stadium for the team. While the plans had been discussed since the 1990s, they did not take concrete form until 2017, when the official location at Bramley Moor Dock was officially announced. This location was endorsed both by the public and the government, thanks to a new railway station built nearby, but it was heavily criticized by UNESCO. Since the dock contains many heritage assets, the construction could put them at risk and damage the overall authenticity of the historical waterfront. The stadium responded by claiming that it would repair and maintain all of these assets. Despite this, UNESCO did not back down, and in 2021 it stripped Liverpool of its world heritage status, citing the planned construction as one of the reasons. A month later, the construction 
construction of the actual stadium finally began, but it was preceded by a lengthy process of landfilling. To provide stable ground for the construction in the dock, approximately 500,000 cubic meters of sand from the Irish Sea were used. Since then, the stadium has made significant progress, with the first seats already installed and the exterior taking shape as well. In its final form, it will have a brick-designed base to match the atmosphere of the dock, with a modern steel and glass design on top. With a cost of $700 million and a capacity of 53,000 people, it's expected to open to the public as soon as 2024. Only four years later, it will already serve as a venue for the 2028 UEFA Euro Cup. Let's move on to number four, the Xi'an International Soccer Center, with a capacity of 60,000 people. We've already mentioned UEFA, which governs soccer in Europe, but in Asia, the main governing body is the AFC, or Asian Football Confederation. Every four years, they organize the biggest tournament on the continent, the AFC Asian Cup. Following the previous one in the United Arab Emirates, China won the bid for the next cup and had grand plans for it, resulting in the construction of multiple stadiums in some of the 10 host cities. One of them is the Xi'an International Soccer Center, located in the country's biggest northwest city. It will bring life to a new city district, with its futuristic exterior shaped like a saddle, translucent roof, modern facilities, and changing lights. Its shape will also protect the stadium from the northern winds and maximize the seating capacity, up to 60,000 people. The construction began in 2020, with an estimated cost of $400 million, and it's been making steady progress. If you're enjoying this video, subscribe to our channel for more content like this. It's a great way to support us and we massively appreciate it. Thanks in advance. Let's shift our attention from soccer to American football with number three, the new Tennessee Titans Stadium with a capacity of 60,000. For more than 20 years, the Tennessee Titans have played at Nissan Stadium under the open sky in Nashville. During its lifetime, it's been subjected to a variety of events, including floods and tornadoes. However, a recent assessment determined that it would cost nearly $2 billion to maintain it in first-class condition in the long run. Instead, a plan to construct a completely new and modern stadium was proposed. It will be built directly next to Nissan Stadium, as the old one will be demolished later on, freeing up the precious riverfront land for the city's future plans. The new stadium will be constructed as a dome, completely covered with a translucent roof with four tiers of stands, an artificial field, and massive LED screens. The interior will include commercial spaces, ensuring that the facility is busy even on non-match days and generating revenue to cover its maintenance costs. Meanwhile, the exterior will have a modern design with terraces inspired by Nashville's distinctive architecture. In addition to primarily serving as the new home for the Tennessee Titans, the plan is also to attract prestigious events such as Super Bowls and WrestleManias. The construction is planned to start next year and finish three years later with an estimated cost of 2.1 billion US dollars, from which 40% will be paid by the Titans. The remaining 60%, totaling more than a billion dollars, will be covered by public funds, making it the largest public subsidy for the construction of an NFL stadium in history. Next up is number two, the new Highmark Stadium, with a capacity of 62,000 people. The Buffalo Bills football team has been using the Highmark Stadium located in Orchard Park, Buffalo, for 50 years now. Although it's a place they can truly call home, its capacity has been decreasing, and functionality hasn't been up to the standard for quite some time. The required renovations would cost nearly a billion dollars, prompting the idea of building a completely new stadium. The Bills then entered discussions with the state of New York and Erie County, on who who would bear the major responsibility in financing their new home. When there still had been no progress made by 2021, the team's owner even threatened to relocate the bills altogether. But then, after New York elected a new governor as head of state, an agreement was quickly reached in early 2022. Of the 1.54 billion US dollars, the state and county agreed to pay 850 million dollars while the rest would be covered by the team itself. And with this massive budget, the Bills new home will stand across the street from its predecessor and will have a seating capacity of 62,000 people. The glass exterior with its holes is intended to keep swirling winds from the nearby Lake Erie from reaching the field level. The decision to make it an open air stadium was an interesting design choice as full roofing is becoming increasingly popular in the NFL. It was taken not only to reduce construction costs, but also to attract more attention. As Buffalo is known for its snowy broadcasts. Construction has been underway as of this year, and with an estimated cost of 1.5 billion US dollars, and it's expected to be completed in 2026.
On top of our list, and by far the largest stadium, is the new administrative capital city stadium, with a capacity of 93,000 people. Egypt is a country with a serious overpopulation problem, particularly in Cairo, its capital. At the moment, the government is building numerous new cities across the country to more evenly distribute the population. One of them is the new administrative capital, a metropolis built from scratch that will house the national government. In addition, it will also have a dedicated sports district with a variety of facilities such as swimming pools, indoor halls, and athletic tracks. By far the largest of these facilities is the new soccer stadium with a capacity of 93,000 people, making it the largest in Egypt and the second largest in Africa. It will consist of three oval stands and, of course, the soccer field. All of the seats will be covered by a translucent membrane roofing, which will be supported by giant poles around the building. This will give the entire structure a distinct design, especially when combined with the multi-shade blue facade. The construction began in 2019 and has nearly been finished, as well as the rest of the sports area. Thanks to this new district, Egypt will be eligible for bidding for the FIFA World Cup or the Olympic Games, and possibly becoming the first African country to host them. What do you think about these buildings? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.